Sidnan National School of Home Industries, San Miguel Annex, located approximately 10 kilometers west of Maramag proper. The school was established since 2004 and 17 years later, the school has grown with 29 teachers, one school head, 25 sections composing of junior and senior high school, and with a total population of over 1,200 students. The Brigada Escuela Steering Committee, headed by the overall chairman, Head Teacher 3, Mam Charlene N. Sabares, spearheads the implementation of the Brigada Escuela program and shall oversee the various efforts to be undertaken for the program such as marketing and advocacy, resource mobilization, implementation, monitoring, and evaluation. In adherence to the DepEd Memorandum No. 48 Series of 2021 on Brigada Escuela Implementing Guidelines, this year's Brigada Escuela focuses on collaboration and strengthening partnership engagements that complement DepEd's effort to implement the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan and to ensure the delivery of quality basic education notwithstanding the COVID-19 pandemic. Brigada Escuela Partnership Engagement Coordinate with the local government units or other non-government organizations and volunteers to clean and disinfect school buildings, classrooms, and other facilities. Engage partners for the provision of the hand sanitizing materials, medical devices and equipment, food items and supplements, disinfect spray, face mask, face shield, surgical gloves, printing of COVID-19 and boxing materials, and others. Engage partners to raise the availability of printing materials and provision of supplies for distance learning. Conduct psychological first aid and other psychological interventions and debriefing in partnership with the stakeholders during the implementation of Brigada Escuela. Conduct orientation with teaching and non-teaching personnel, PTAs, learners and other partners on the basic education learning continuity plans. Engage partners in the promotion and provision of distance learning delivery modalities such as local radio or TV stations and other available media as a form of Brigada Escuela and partnership initiative to deliver the curriculum. Coordinate with other agencies on the possible implementation of Bulayan sa Tahanan as part of Brigada Escuela and school family community partnerships to promote sustainable food supply at homes. Strengthen Brigada Pagbasa, the learning continuity plan in partnership with at least three external stakeholders. Engage partnerships for wash-in schools and disaster preparedness. Conduct partnership appreciation and other school-based initiatives. Resources generated relative to the Brigada Escuela.
capacity building or webinars. Disaster prevention and emergency kit. Disinfections and cleaning supplies equipment. Distance learning gadgets or cell phones. Distance learning desktop, laptop, tablet. Distance learning printed and electronic modules. Distance learning TV radio broadcast airtime. Learning modules, distribution and retrieval services. Food items and food supplements. Medical services, supplies and equipment. Mental health and psychosocial support services. Personal protective equipment. Printing machines and photocopier. Maintenance supplies and materials. Wash facilities, school kit, and supplies. For the Bayanihan effort, we have a total of 3,029 parent volunteers, 235 from the LGU, 116 from the NGAs, 97 from the NGOs, 55 from the private sectors, and 176 from the religious organizations, alumni and private individuals with a grand total of 3,708 volunteers all working together to disinfect school buildings, classrooms, and other school facilities. Participate in the distribution and retrieval of learning modules. Support the Brigada Pagbasa in the Learning Continuity Plan. Implementation of Bulayan sa Tahanan, where the school harvested, repacked, and distributed the seeds to the students and parents for them to grow their own vegetables at home. Provision of a safe learning spaces at home or in the community. Cleaning and maintenance work. Sustainability of the aesthetic aspect of the learning environment.
We would like to extend our gratitude and sincere thanks to everyone who in one way or another have contributed to the success of this groundbreaking accomplishment. May the Lord bless us all.